Hey guys and girls, Shardy signing in for another one. Um, yeah, I just thought I'd give you a quick update. Uh, not too much has been happening, um, but I have had a, a few little things that I've had to think about and try and sort out. But just a quick update on this um, Ecotech. Let me just zoom in here, focus. Yeah, the Ecotech Marine software, basically. They, you might have noticed in an earlier video um, they said they were bringing out a natural mode and as you can probably see from the screen here it's here so I'm really happy about that and uh, and this is one of the reasons why I chose like Ecotech and the Profilux because they are on the ball and they are updating all the time which I think is good a few of the other manufacturers for the uh, aquarium computer control people they're a, li they're a little bit dead and slow and that's why I made a switch to Profilux at the last minute and that's why I was quite happy to go with the Ecotex because of the updates they were bringing out and another cool thing that Ecotech are bringing out is the ability to to share programs with each other on a database um, so if you like um, a certain setup someone's running they can share it on the database and you can download it and install it onto your software so yeah it's cool they've updated it I'm very happy and uh, yeah so moving on um, the tank as I promised in an earlier video I've had a few comments from people that basically said um, make sure you get the full lights on when you're doing this because it's hard to see without it now here's a little thing I'm going to show you that I've been trying to work out now as you might have noticed it's a really ugly pump sitting in my tank and to be quite honest, I hate it. I don't like it. And the reason why this is here is because this weekend, I phoned up uh, one of my uh, local fish stores and I was like, look, have you, got a, have you got a pump, an external pump that can pull the water out of the tank? Um, you know, like literally like a meter and a half max, pull it out of the tank and drain it away. And they're like, yeah, yeah, I go for this um, Eheim um, 5000 compact and it'll do the job so got the pump I'll just take you over to my water storage area got the pump spent a bit of my weekend putting up this shelving unit up here which the idea was to sit that that Eheim on it and you know I've, I've got my Profilux uh, power bars here um, Obviously, excuse the mess on this one because I'm all just this is in a build stage. Eventually, I will rack it up on the wall and get everything neat and tidy. But I ended up putting it up there, rigging it up, going out my drain pipe, <coughs> and I, uh, I turned turned the bugger on, and it would not pump for shit. It wouldn't take any water out of the aquarium. Uh, I just used a little bucket, isn't it, as a test, and it wasn't working. So I phoned them back up, and they're like, "Yeah, yeah, no, of course, but you've got to get a suction going first. And I'm like, I told them the way I was going to be using it before I bought it. And I'm like, how the hell am I going to get a suction going from one metre above the tank? You expect me to suck on it before I get the water down there. So, obviously, you know, I wasn't too happy about it. I mean, it's not too much of a biggie because I can actually use the Eheim pump for um, for my salt water mix, uh, mixing pump in there. Because I did buy a little small one here. But the flow on it is so crap. Um... That I just thought bollocks. I used the e for that. Um, oh yeah, I got this little uh, little digital temperature thing here for my salt water thing as well, and um, that was pretty cheap. But yeah, so basically, wasn't too happy obviously because it didn't do what I wanted it to do. So I thought, ah oh, bollocks, am I really gonna have to, you know, put up with this? So I, uh, so this isn't glued in or anything. I just kind of plumbed it in because I had loads of spare pipe and bits, just to see how it would be if I had to put a pump in the tank for the salt water drain. And you guys might be thinking, well, why bother? Just, you know, put it in when you need to drain salt. Um, but that's not an option for me because the whole point of this build was to get everything fully automated so that I don't have to do any of that stuff. You know, I just really want to be able to automate everything. That's one of the, uh, the principles and theories behind this whole build. So I plumbed this in, absolutely hate it. I think it's ugly as hell and I was thinking about hiding it with rocks and what have you, but it's still not gonna do it for me. So 
did a little bit of research online and uh, found out that what I need is a self priming pump and what a self priming pump is is basically a pump that will suck water into the pump initially to get the pump going um, didn't know about it and do you know what was really funny actually um, I was doing a I posted on a forum on ReCentral you know asking the question what pump do I need a couple of days ago and then I started typing into Google like you know a bit of research and the third result on Google was my original post that I posted two days ago uh, and I didn't get email notifications from Reef Central that people had replied. So I went into the post and a load of people had replied and they basically came up with a solution which was the um, self-priming pump. Um, now they're not that cheap but do you know what? I've just spent so much money on this build anyway that I'm like, you know, bollocks to it, I'm, I want one. Things have got to be the way I envisioned them to be. So. Uh, I've sent a few emails to these uh, so a few companies that do salt water priming pumps um, and it's Sunday today so I don't expect for them to get back to me till Monday and they should let me know whether it'll be able to pump it up 1.5 meters, suck it up 1.5 meters and another 3 meters over to my water storage unit which means that all I'll have in the tank I'll get rid of this pipe in here and basically just have one just next to that one there just one single pipe running down into the tank which will look a hell of a lot nicer and tidier than this big ugly eheim on the wall here so i have actually come up with a solution i'm pretty sure some of the the emails i've sent for the pumps that i want will do the job so i'll be ordering that tomorrow if they get back to me or well, i can even phone a few of these places as well so uh yeah, I just thought I'd give you an update on that one basically because um, once I get that self primer into the water storage area, you know, the, there'll be nothing else. There's nothing else I need to buy for this setup. Um, I probably mentioned I've got the decorators come in maybe Monday, Tuesday. They've not confirmed. If they haven't, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this tank out. I'm going to decorate that boxing down there and paint around the wall area and around the ceiling around it myself shove the tank back in with the wedge up against the side and then at least I'm ready to go I can I can start moving on with this because at the moment I feel a little bit stumped because I need to decorate but I don't want to keep pulling the tank up and you know in and out so um, if, if they confirm that that pump tomorrow then I'm cool I can get that in and decorate put it in and the update should be coming a lot quicker than as uh, as things move forward so yeah like I said, uh, um, uh, you know, it's been a bit of a delay on this one, um, and that did predict two weeks before I'd get everything going. Hopefully, I'll reach that target and get some water in it. Hopefully, next week. So, guys, thanks for watching, and appreciate all everyone's comments and everything. It's been ace. I've had some cool suggestions. Uh, everyone's been really nice, supportive. So I'm loving it. And this is Shardy signing out.